<laughs> Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another video for you on this snowy Sunday. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's doing great. Yes, 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 indeed. It's a snowy day, and it like literally just like started an hour ago. You're like, da da da, go snowing. Oh crap. Oh hey, look, the roads are crap. Oh, this is gonna be a long day. So, yes, yeah, stuff. So, my friends, oh my goodness, is there crap going on on the interwebs these days? Oh my goodness, totally called it too. Activision Blizzard letting go like a couple hundred peeps, which, you know, is sad for, you know, the people who are, uh, will be losing their jobs this week. Uh, hopefully, they will be able to find something uh, soon in the gaming industry or whatever industry they decide to actually get into this time. <laughs> but man, oh, I might actually just do a whole video just related to that. This It's a sad, but not unsurprising. Not at all. To see like where all these companies are ahead of these days and what they've been doing. Whether it has to do with caring more about the shareholder. Now, believe me, I, I am a... I am a hundred percent capitalist, and I and I and baby, I'm there. But you you need to find a good balance between making the shareholders happy and also making your community happy. So if I were a shareholder, this is how I would look at it: if you have a happy community, the community, you know, who pays you the you know to make these games and plays your games, uh, makes the microtransactions, you know, the clients, the people with the money. Uh, I, as a shareholder, I said, listen, if the community's happy and they're making, and they're putting money in, I'm happy too. So you, you, too much of these days you have either um, greedy shareholders or greedy companies. You have uh, companies like, you know, Activision and, and EA who are, you know, well, not Bethesda. Bethesda's doing stupid stuff uh, in a whole completely different realm of stupid. But it's companies who sometimes makes it look like they care more about their bottom line than they actually do about you, the player. I guess I'm doing the video now, huh? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, whether it's that or it's got to be, like, some stupid, f like, far to the fringe type of, like, narrative going on and destroying, like, a f well-established franchise game going, you know what? Yeah, screw you. <laughs> but, you know, it's not necessarily the narrative that I think pisses people off. It's the response from the developers, uh, like you had with the um, Battlefield Five developer, who was he was like you know, pissing off the community and and not necessarily attacking them, but you know pretty much saying, "Hey, if you don't like it, don't buy it." Huh? It's like, okay, well, guess what? No one's going to buy it. Uh, and then sometimes you have like these companies with unrealistic. Um, numbers. I, I think what was it for Battlefield Five? I think they wanted to sell, or they've only sold. 7 million copies and it was like a million short of what they had projected to sell uh, I don't know I mean that's I think that's fi hard physical copies I'm not sure I'd have to look into that one but yeah they, they fell short of what they wanted to sell and if you think about it it's like even if it is just 7 million copies 7 million and let's just all say it, everyone bought it at $60 7 million people bought the game at $60 we're just going to no, for argument's sake we're just going to make every single purchase 60 bucks whether you know we're not going to do it whether it be a special edition no we're just going to say 60 bucks you know 60 times 7 million so yeah they made money off it not necessarily what they wanted to but guess what that happens welcome to business yay but, you know, just I, I would love to just get back to companies making video games for their community and not attacking their community when the bulk of community is like, what are you doing? I mean, that, I mean that's dumb. And that, that shows us a lot of couple things, too. It shows that they don't understand their community. They don't want to understand the community. They refuse to understand the community. And they're just, you know... They, they're just not there. They don't have a pulse in the community. And I think it's very important in a gaming world, gaming company, that uh, even in any business, any business, whether it be here on the YouTube channel uh, or the business I you know help run outside of the biz of this channel, you know I help manage stuff. You know you you you're do you need to do things to cater to the client, to the person that you are trying to get to you know have business with 
Everyone has a different niche, niche. Everyone has a different thing. And you know, the moment you start, you stop listening to your client, you know, that's when bad things start happening on a business end. So you've got to, you have to, it is imperative for a business to survive, not just to make a profit, because the profit goes back into uh, the company, goes back into hiring, goes back into make, developing more games, upgrading software. Profit is not an evil thing. Uh, some, depending, depending on how it's used, but profit is not an evil thing, because you need it to reinvest in the company, at least you should, right? Um, well, I don't give a crap who makes what. I honestly don't. <laughs> it doesn't. I is I'm not bothered by any of that stuff. And if you are partying on, I personally am not. But we need, you know, you need. It's all about like that's my biggest thing. It's always and always should be about the community, about your client, and that's called fracking customer service. Customer service isn't just calling like I don't know AT and T up, which I get to do again, uh, and like. You know, going, hello, hello, no, screw you. It's like, okay, yeah, well, that just left a bad taste in my mouth. Guess what? Screw you. <sighs> it's just, I don't, I don't get some of the devs these days. Like, I remember watching some of this crap happen during Warlords and Warlords of Draenor for World of Warcraft, and people were not happy, and justifiably so. And, you know, even with Diablo Immortal announcement, people are not happy. And, you know, when you get the devs going out there, just like, you know, going after the community, I'm like, oh, like Corey Stockton did that. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I know he, I remember him saying something and it just pissed me off. I'm like, oh, dude, no, he didn't. Uh-uh. So it's like, you just, <laughs> I don't get it. If, a, if your client does not like what you're doing, don't double down and keep doing it and making it worse. You stop you change it back to what your clients have expect from you because you are the business they have been purchasing a product from you for x y and z amount of time and this is the foundation upon which you built everything this is what people expect from you and then when you automatically change everything to go away against the majority of what the people want and then you start doubling down saying screw you you don't really know what you want say mm, oh that was dumb because no, there is no greater power than the wallet. The wallet will tell you everything and tell the companies how they should do, right? <sighs> so I guess I just did my video on that, right? And I, you know, this kind of goes in, you know, I did the video about microtransactions with an anthem. We don't know yet what they're going to be. We'll find out very soon, this coming week, as early access kicks in. Uh, for those who I believe have Origin membership, which ah, I'm good, uh, I don't need another membership. Let me tell you, but we will find out very soon. But it's like when you jump these guns and do this stuff, and like someone said on uh, on the ch on this channel, said, "What if they did it on purpose?" You know what? I uh, if they did, bravo to them to see the test of the waters to see what you know people are thinking. And that's great. And one thing I, I can say that I'm not under NDA on, I mean, I can't talk about what we are talking about, but something I can say is a breath of fresh air is when developers come to you with an idea and they want to know what your thoughts are on it. And you know, this is that time when you just, you, you know, you have to be nice about it, but you also kind of be, you have to be like, listen, this is, why X, Y, and Z, this will not work. Ooh, that's for sale, huh? Uh, and this is, you know, either A, leave something alone, or B, don't, or change it, but make sure there's a balance. But when developers are coming to a community and saying, hey, guys, we have this idea. Well, what do you think? That is a good thing. It is much better than implementing something than pissing off the entire world or just, you know, saying you know what we made this and screw you if you don't like it don't buy it it's like oh those words <laughs> never say those things uh because we will do exactly as you say we will not buy it and then you're you're uh you'll lose profit share now i will say this speaking of brilliant maneuvering ea i will say this about ea with Apex. I have not played Apex. I haven't yet. I honestly don't have time 
for other games, I'm still enjoying Fortnite, even though I haven't played it much. I've been super busy. However, EA shares have skyrocketed because of Apex. And Apex, and I will argue Anthem, could be the games that save a lot of things. And I hope so. And I hope, I really, I know a lot, there's a lot of hate, and it's very justified by you guys. I get it. Uh, about Electronic Arts, about EA, this is not me trying to suck up to become a game changer. I'm really not. You know me. I'm not going to apologize for anyone. Only myself. But I really hope, and I'm starting to see an interesting trend to where EA is starting to pivot a little bit. And hopefully they've learned their lesson. Hopefully they have. Because right now it looks like Activision hasn't learned any lesson whatsoever from what EA did with the Battlefront series. So have I been saying Battlefront Battlefield? I said Battlefront, right? Huh? It's too many battles. Uh, but so I'm really hoping that, that there's something taught here and I hope companies are listening. And then there's just, then there's just Bethesda right now who, yes, they make good games and yes, all their games are buggy, but we're, we've come to be grown accustomed to this. And, but to me, it's, I've never had a moment where it's like, God, this game's not even playable. I've never had that moment. So that's to me it's not even a topic because I haven't experienced it and I know a lot of people who also haven't experienced it so I'm not even going to it's just a thing but when it comes to marketing your stuff when it says you're going to get this but instead we'll give you this and then we'll just you know piss you off more by again hey we'll give you five bucks in the Atom store to spend even though you spent two hundred dollars on this product and we totally shortchanged you oh shit there's a lawsuit oh no uh <laughs> there's that right there is that anyways that's my thing videos coming this week we got some anthem videos coming out we got some sotor stuff coming out as well uh i believe that's it uh, i was going to do some stuff I, I think what did i do but i'll talk about that later mm -hmm. anyways uh yeah get no what, what did i do i so i was playing some sotor the other day and i started uh on just because i will be doing a video about tau again and a lot of more my reasonings on it and i wanted to play her again too just because just to see if you know i'm not being biased in anything in my review on tau i mean i see a lot of you agree with me about her but there are some of you who gave some convincing arguments so i want to go back in and uh play her again and just you know kind of play her with an open mind and i will tell you that the first scene with her <laughs> my mind just went <sighs> like, this isn't starting well but I'm going to continue playing on that one with my Jedi Guardian and uh, Mr. Boomy. So if you see me around on Satil Sean, that's right. Hey, guys, I spelled Satil right for the first time. I cannot spell that name to save my life. This video is getting long. I've got to go. Friends, have a good one. Remember, it's about be kind. It's always about community. Hit the pound the crap out of that thumb, thumbs up and like button. Hit the subscribe button, guys. We're going places and you're going with me. And that's not a threat. That's a promise. Anyways, my friends, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 bye.